Hi, welcome to the return of Adventure Lunch. I'm Jerry Kingery. And I'm Cyber Bob. It's been a while since uh, lunch has been an adventure around here. That's right, but we wanted to get back into it. We felt like uh, uh, it was time to bring it back. It was time to eat lunch again, <laughs> frankly. It was time to reclaim it's been lunch. A while. It's been a while. Uh, you know. And why, why did we go away? Uh, I don't know. We, we lost somebody, didn't we? Yeah, we, uh, actually, the, the star of the show uh, had, had, had left, and uh, well, we, no one really knows. Well, we'll get we'll get into that at the end of the show. But we're back. That's the important thing. Uh, and what were we this week? To, uh, this week we were at the Lord's Kitchen. I asked that like I don't know. Well, yeah, I, know. I was there. Well, I, we forget sometimes. This is the <laughs> Lord's Kitchen uh, on the near east side of town. Uh, address uh, on the screen there, 118 Seguin Street. It's like over by the AT&T Center. Right, curious. it's on the way to the AT&T Center. It's, it's not exactly where you would expect a restaurant to be. That's, uh, that's correct. But, but it, once you get there, you're like, oh, this is great. Yeah, and, and when you go outside, you see they have a pretty cool, the, the, whole, the whole building is decorated with all this kind of stuff, uh, really cool paintings. Bring it, this, bring like it this way. There you go. And, oh, and, there you go. And, and uh, <laughs> really, really looked, uh, it, it's that, kind of a cool looking place. It's not, it's, you would think maybe it's uh, some... Uh, they had, they had written all over the building, but it looks like really graffiti. Cool. I just graffiti, noticed. Yeah. I just noticed this guy's pants. By the way, I'm taking the full screen. Uh, I hadn't noticed he had pants. I would. I, I should have assumed he had pants. Perhaps I'm speaking out of school here. But, uh, <laughs> let's move on. Anyway, uh, you'll notice it's the type of place where the menu is on the building, uh, and it's obviously they've they've changed a little pricing here and there. But uh, this is their basic menu. This nice is, use of electrical tape. By the way, that is duct tape. Duct tape, excuse duct me. Duct tape is for air conditioning. Uh, electrical Ducks. tape is the black tape. I'm sorry, uh, but yeah, it's a hamburger right. place. You can see they have all kinds of different hamburgers. Uh, yeah, and uh, and there was this cat there. While we were waiting outside, while we were standing around taking pictures, I I saw this cat. Why and why are we bringing the cat up? Because I liked this cat. See, I caught him mid meow, and he's very dis. It's a very disinterested meow. Jared, one of the things you're known for is putting diplomas in cats' hands I, on Facebook. I I graduate many a cat. <laughs> All right, so when you I'm like the University of Phoenix for cats. <laughs> when you go when you get get inside Lord's Kitchen, it it's it's not your normal place. It has right. a ton of personality. Right. And one of the things you see one of, one of my favorite things is is this cabinet full of toys. And if you know me, I'm a toy collector. And and let's keep this up for just a second longer. I don't know if you notice on the uh, the left side of your screen there, that is a Harry and the Hendersons doll. It is. From the movie Harry and the Hendersons and and <laughs> Well, Let's here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Jared collects toys, right? And uh, as soon as he spotted this, he had to. He grabbed his iPhone, went on eBay, and the next thing you know, he's getting a price. I'm getting a price on, on Harry, Harry and the Henderson doll, doll, so that uh, he can know exactly the value. And what is the value of? of uh, they're there? going for about 20, 25 bucks online, thirty, I guess. And I don't know end. if you could see it on, on the on the photo we just showed, but there's a. Uh, there's a weird thing in the. I don't know if you've seen the photo that's going around Facebook right now, but there's like someone's head hidden behind a pillow on a couch. The same kind of thing is going on, and, and you don't have to take this oh, back right. full screen again. But there's a lady's head in the corner of the. She we wouldn't move. That, oh, she, we saw her there. That wasn't like a I'm ghost apparition. I'm pretty sure apparition she's not thing. the ghost of Lord's Kitchen. I don't think. Your favorite thing about the uh, uh, about the place were, were the toys. Right. I, my favorite thing was Val. She was the person who greeted us when we got there. She's absolutely great person. She was a lot of fun, really, and she, and she yeah. uh, told us everything we need to know about the place. Her family owns it now, right? Uh, yeah, it's her, her uncle is, uh, is, is a partner, I believe, and uh, she kind of she was working on her day off. Uh, the family kind of gets recruited to come in. There was some grumbling about working on days off. But uh, the, the thing that, that I loved uh, about, about her when she talked to us, she really... I mean, you can see everybody that came in, they liked her. It's like, right. we, I like the food a lot. I did too. But I thought you could go for her as much. The personality is really fantastic. She's a really nice person, nice people working there. Well, and, and she knew the whole history of the place, and, uh, and, and that leads us to this. This is the founder of, uh, of Lord's Kitchen, uh, and we have a little uh, a video clip. If we go and take that video of Valerie explaining to us. Yeah, she uh, explains a little bit for us. Um, that's Charlie. He's the founder. I mean, that's his mother. That's Charlie and his mother. Uh, Charlie is the founder of Lord's Kitchen. Charlie actually uh, owns all the toys still. Right. The toys did not come with the restaurant because I offered to buy, I wanted to buy the Harry and the Hendersons doll, and she said no. If, if, if they ever decide to close the restaurant down, whatever happens, those toys get reverted back to Charlie here. So if you're curious, you've got to ask Charlie. But uh, so we, we, uh, we, oh, we still lament. Oh, we have, oh, we have, okay, yeah. We have another video. Uh, if you go and keep the next one, I forget what this is about. 
Do any famous people come in and, and not and try to eat something big and not finish I know, it? I know, but I know some of the Spurs, like I said, come in here and the Silver Stars. Who who is the most frequent visitor from each team? I don't know the girl's name. <laughs> oh, well, who's the most? How about for the Spurs? For the Spurs. Um, I believe Ginobili's come here. I've oh, never yeah. been here when he's here, so. Which who's been here when you've been here? Just the Silver Stars. Oh, okay. They frequent here a lot. They're really? really nice girls. Mm -hmm. They're really nice girls. I like them a lot. Quick, do you know any of the Silver Stars? Quick. Uh. Go what what? Silver Stars. Alana. No. Oh, is a dan silver, silver dancer. dancer. Alana. We're about the basketball team. No. No. I, and that's fine. So if you like the, if you like tall people, tall women, that's a good place to go. There might be some tall women. And there. the burgers, I can't imagine Ginobili's been there recently because the burgers are so big, you're going to need both hands. And, and he's, he's got only the got hand the, the hand injury. Uh, <laughs> this is the first burger we ordered. Yeah, this, this was uh, what it's called the. the uh, this is the Lord's Burger. The one pound Lord's Burger. This is your uh, this is your live reaction to it. It's huge. It's and huge. And that's the one. This is not the biggest hamburger. That's just one. And, and you got. Uh, uh, well, here, this this is I I t I took a look at it too. Uh, well, that's right. That was that was mine as well. You were looking at it. you. Were, we, we were both mystified by this, and our goal was to uh, to split this in half. So we, we, we ordered two burgers. This right. the, that was the Lord's burger. The next burger we ordered. You got was, the grill hamburger, right? Well, this was recommended by uh, by Valerie. I know, yeah. uh, this is called the Mama Bell Burger, and uh, and normally. We can't see your finger pointing in the studio here, but trust us. Online they can see it. There, yeah, there it is. Very typical. Uh, this burger comes with jalapenos. I can't eat jalapenos. And why? Because I can't say why. It's, <laughs> it's gross. It's gross why. <laughs> no. Because uh, you're a little girl. They make me, they make my tummy bummy. <laughs> no, it, I, I, I've just never been a spicy person. But well, this is recommended by Valerie, who... Uh, comes from a family of pro eaters, I guess. <laughs> growing up, growing up with the restaurant, uh, we've got a, a clip of video, a video clip, where she explains uh, what what she's eating and what her mother is eating. Yes. So which is the biggest yeah. one you've eaten? The biggest one, I can do a pound. I can do a pound. On a on a day that I'm not going to eat, I probably went out the night before, <laughs> had too much fun, and I can finish it. But I won't eat the fries or anything else. I can do a pound. My mom can do a pound, and she's tinier than me. Wow. So you find it to be a good hangover cure? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It, it's very disappointing that we're closed on Sundays. <laughs> For that reason alone. For that reason alone. Absolutely. So here she is talking about two women that can eat a, a one-pound burger, and two men we couldn't, couldn't finish it. This is the debris. This is left over from the, from the Lord's Burger. An important point about the one pound, the half pound, the quarter pound, the three pound, they weigh the burgers after they're That's cooked. That's right. This is this not is, This is unusual. This is not pre-cooked weight. This is not right. you're going to McDonald's, whatever, ordering a quarter pounder, and that was 10 years ago when the meat was f was fresh, and they froze it and all the fat cooks off. And you're this is when they're done cooking, when they, just before they put it on the bun, they weigh it to make sure it is one pound. I wonder if they've developed some sort of like algebraic equation to figure out how much fat cooks off. Well, how do they know? Well, they, they do two of them, and they're pretty much going to be the same every time after that. No, but, but I mean... Different, you know how much, you know how much it, it's going to shrink about the same amount every well, time. Well, I mean, roughly. I mean, different, different meat has different fat content. Look, I'm sure if you go in there and weigh the hamburgers after, after they've cooked, some of them are, are a little bit over a Are pound, you telling me that they're not bit. accurate? I'm saying... Are you accusing the Lord's Kitchen, the Lord's Kitchen, of not being accurate with their weighing? I'm sure if it isn't perfectly a pound, it's over. Okay. Uh, well, right. okay. I think they, so they, air on the air yes. on the side of, of yes. getting more. And this is the uh, this is also the debris of uh, that's this is Bob's plate. He couldn't even eat all the jalapeno burger. You that's, really love this. The... Looks really gross, Scriblona. <laughs> you, really, you really food. like the uh, what, what was it I called? I love the Mama Bell burger. I love a good. This is a bean burger and not a bean burger like its patty is made of beans like some hippies stuff. Yeah. This is a this is a hamburger. No, and and just, just for clarification, we do not like it. No, we don't. All right, the, go ahead. This is a, uh, a hamburger with refried beans and cheddar on top, and, uh, and it's, it's delicious. Another thing to, to clarify here, uh, this is a messy meal. This is, they, she brought us a stack of napkins that read like a phone book. You don't want to wear your Sunday clothes. Well, they're closed on Sunday anyway. Ah, you're, now you're skipping ahead. But no, really, uh, oh. uh, uh, um, we don't, you, just a warning. You're going to get a little gonna messy. You're going to get messy. You're going to need, she's going to set a big pile of napkins down on your table. 
and you're going to need them all. Uh, another thing about the hamburgers, there's only one burger that's actually named after someone. And that was after former mayor Ed Garza. Ed Garza, right. Which you thought was weird. It's the Garza Mole Burger. The, yeah, wait, M Mayor Ed's Mole Burger. That, everything else is not really named after anybody, which I thought was weird. And they have no intention. Just, Ed, this is, this I, is I assume Mama, a very Mama, Ed Gar Oh, yeah, well, Mama that, Bell? Yeah, yeah, that's whoever Mama, yeah, you're right. Anyway, uh, and there was one, one bigger burger that we did not get. Oh, well, we got the one pound burger. They have a two pound burger and a three pound burger. A three pound and this, burger. This is, uh, I believe this is Valerie's mother. I think so. Uh, who can, as we said, eat a pound, one pound burger with the three pound burger. I don't know if you, we have a full screen of that one? We do. There we go. You get Look close, at that. This is all one hamburger. There's actually three patties on there, one pound a piece. It's huge. And pickles and stuff too. Like it's, like you need that. I mean, there's just more food. And, and one thing I, I want to recommend though, uh, is that if you go get the onion rings, I'm not a big fan of the fries there. The uh, fries are the, a little, I, I, I know a lot of people try to do the fresh cut fries, the homemade fresh cut fries, but they're really hard to do right, and I, I'm not a fan of them. Well, uh, let's, I mean, to be fair, the fries are an afterthought. If right. You, if you're, you're gonna, it, you're, keeps, you're, it, you're it fills fi the extra room right, on the Right, but you're fi you don't want to fill up on the fries. Because, I mean, the meat, and it's, the burger in itself, I mean, was just, you, the, <laughs> we had juices dripping on the table. Yes. And it was fantastic. It's true, it's and true. And we sopped it up and wrung the napkins out. Back onto the burger. And, <laughs> and so when you, whenever you eat the three-pound burger, they'll put you uh, up on the, uh, the, the wall, and uh, you'll be one of the people who have eaten, you know, probably become part of the burger family. All right? And uh, so we, we actually have, uh, she talks about that. Valerie talks about that a little bit more, right? Uh, she talks about something in this video. What, what did she say? Oh, the crowds, the crowds. Um, during lunch, y'all missed it. The lines go out the door. And oh, really? sometimes they're round, yeah. When I got here today, I was 30 minutes late because I had to go do something. <laughs> the line was all the way out the exit door. <laughs> and do a lot of people didn't get it to go then? Is that, or is it? Uh, they do get it to go, and you're more than welcome to even call to dine in because it's that front rush, so you could call and say you're going to be here at 11, and we'll already have it ready for you. Just tell them to dine in. But, I mean, to go sometimes can even take up to, like, 30 minutes. You want to call 30 minutes in advance. And you have all so, but it's two great pieces of advice. Then. So by chance, by pure chance, we missed the rush. Well, we went a little later. I right, we, we went, went to 1 o'clock. Yeah, and that's what I'd recommend if you're going to go. Go around 1 o'clock or so after the, after the rush. Or, like she said, call ahead. And, and another, another note uh, on Spurs game nights. Right, uh, and, um, yeah, uh, you, they'll actually, they stay open later than normal, because they're not open normally. They close at 3. 3 yeah. is the normal uh, closing time. On a game, on a, on a Spurs game night, they have like a little patio out there. They have some TVs set up. BYOB. BYOB. Which is bring your own B Y O B B. Beverages. The extra B stands for B Y O B B, but that extra B is a typo. I'm doing a Simpsons joke here. <laughs> oh, sorry, I don't. Sorry. I, I know. Me. Anyway, <laughs> the extra B, the extra B is always for B Y O B B. <laughs> but yeah, this references Simpsons out of nowhere. I mean, I'm sorry. Did you referenced what like Reagan's chief of staff on me weeks ago? Remember that? I thought everyone. I thought. I thought that was pretty. I thought that was common knowledge for. Anyway, everyone. they're open later on uh, on hippies. on Spurs game nights, um, and they have a really nice patio, uh, live music from time to time. Uh, I don't think they have any kind of regular schedule for that. No, uh, just know your Spurs schedule. Right. Yeah. Uh, that this cat will probably be out there, because that's where he was at. He <laughs> was on the patio. This cat, uh, and an important thing to remember: this is the Lord's kitchen, like we spoke of. And so. It's <laughs> sorry. I have to put this right in your face. Sorry. It's, okay. it's uh it's closed on Sunday. The Lord's Kitchen's closed on Sunday, and also they're not responsible for any accidents on the premises. So watch your step. So right? so <laughs> take caution in your in what you b y o b, right? Right. Exactly. Don't exactly. don't get all all messed up because uh, they're not responsible. Right. Right. No tripping or falling is recommended. Also, now this is a little bit of a serious note here. Um, this is not the best neighborhood. Now, during the day, perfectly fine, no thing. But this is not a fantastic neighborhood. It's it's to spend time. It's in, especially a little. It's if you're there by yourself. It's a little robocopish. Right. It's a little. You're you don't know if somebody will offer to buy that for a dollar. That's a robocop reference. Stop. <laughs> Just stop, please. All right. So, <laughs> what what I'm saying is, it's a great place to eat. Go there, but take a couple friends with you. Uh, not the greatest neighborhood. It, here's well, an example. They're, they're this close, is they're closed at, at, at night, so it's not a worrisome thing. Right. And when Unless you're, you spur, well, we're talking about the Spurs. Oh, game that's right. That's so you, right. You'd probably want to go with some friends. When, when, when you see a, uh, a, a no dumping sign outside, that's, that's just a mark of a neighborhood that you might want to be careful in. That's, what I'm, that's, that's my point. 
I hope that I'm about safety. I hope that cat is safe. That cat is not safe. <laughs> that cat is not safe at all. <laughs> Let's find that cat again. There you what? go. I think this should be our mascot. One other thing uh, we want to talk about a little bit before we leave today. A uh, final review on the restaurant. Like uh, a, a fantastic hamburger. Uh, yes. Uh, fries, eh. And here's the thing. The meat is so good. I know. It's, 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 the actual hamburger itself is fantastic, so I recommend getting the fries. We didn't try the, the, the they talk a lot about the chili dogs. Yes, we didn't uh, try we, that at all. We, uh, w one of our, 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 uh, our table neighbors, yes. I call them tabers, uh, <laughs> ordered the, uh, the burger and chili dog combo, which I, I took a picture of that, but we forgot to put it in there. Oh. Anyway, it was, a, and he finished it. He finished the whole plate, and I don't want to see his bathroom. Afterward, because I mean, this is a lot of food. <laughs> you know, and, and for, the people were also cool that were there. Right. Oh, I mean, yeah. everyone is just, you know, it, you go to some restaurants where it's kind of snobby and stuff. People were all very, very cool. Uh, one last word about uh, the, the original Adventure Lunch. Um, this guy, we have a picture of him right now. His name is Joe Schreibel. 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 Schwarm. Schreibel. Schwarm. Dreidel? I'm not really sure what his, his name is Sh exactly. We have a picture of him. He's Don Dringus, something here. like that. Uh, he was one of the original founders of the show, and one of the reasons we haven't done it for so long. No one really knows what happened to him. He disappeared uh, I, shortly after Chips Ahoy overtook... Uh, Lunch Ahoy. Uh, yeah, that's right. Lunch Ahoy overtook... Chips, <laughs> Chips Ahoy. <laughs> overtook Adventure Lunch in the ratings for that, lunchtime programs. Chad. Chad from... Yeah, and he was really starting to bother Joe a little bit. And next thing you know, uh, some people say it was a horrible spelunking accident. He I, last I saw him, he was skateboarding off into the distance. So if you've seen Joe... Joe uh, Shirtle. Shreidel? Shrabble. Uh, Scrabble? Please. Scrabble. Yeah, it's Joe Scrabble. Word? If you've seen Joe Scrabble, please give, not, uh, give not us a ring. Joe Words with Friends? And uh, uh, let us know if you've seen him, because we're really kind of worried about him. Uh, I mean, I, I've got a sweatshirt of his still. So I just want to get it back to it. Until next time, this has been Adventure Lunch. Thank you for watching. Joe. Joe? Joe. Shrebel? Strudel? <laughs>